Vice chancellors are insisting there is no way public universities will survive if they do not hike school fees threefold. The latest revelation comes even after students threatened to strike and MPs threatened to move to court to block the increment. Makori Ongechi reports. Despite the threat by student leaders and young MPs, vice chancellors are remaining firm on their proposal to triple university fees. They say running public universities has become a headache to the university administrators due to lack of resources. The government providing 36 billion shillings, just half of what the universities need. Obviously, uh, the cost of everything <laughs> have gone up. We are looking at 30 years down the line. The government itself is paying double what probably it should have been paying. If we are going to run universities in a way that would make our universities competitive, we need to ensure that the universities are properly funded. We can no longer work with the parameters of 1989 to run universities in 2019. In defending the vice chancellor's proposal, Professor Duol argues that the government has an option of covering the proposed fees in totality. If the students and parents were to be laid off, the burden of digging deep into their pockets. How we came up with 48,000 shillings is simple arithmetic. If in 86, in, in 89, the total cost was 86. In 2019, mm -hmm. the average cost is 255. Simply on a pro rata basis, it shows that from 86 to now, the cost has trebled. So, if we are going to ask the government to pay their component, we are going to ask the government, you should also treble your cost. And if, you're going to, if the government is going to treble their cost, which used to be 70, it, the government should be looking to be trebling their cost to about 210,000 shillings on the average. So the students should also treble their cost, which comes to 48. Already, university students are feeling the heat with lecturers reportedly abandoning lecture halls and in some instances conducting lectures half-heartedly. Everybody who has a C is coming to university. The same situation is going to happen this year. They already declared 135,000 vacancies for all the universities in Kenya, both private and public. And there are only 90,000 students wanting to come to university. That is two thirds of the vacancies declared. University students and young MPs are viciously opposed to the proposed fee structure, which if approved will see students pay an average of 48,000 Kenya shillings per semester. It remains to be seen how the Minister of Education now going to be under new CS will cross this bridge. This is an urgent issue for us. Makori Ngechi, Citizen TV. Nairobi.